keep talking about the roads. All week long, we've been asking which ones drive you crazy. And there are a lot of them because thousands of you voted on the worst roads that you have to drive on. So with your help, we now have it down to a final four. Every day this week, Jesse Cohen is working on solutions. This map showing you where she is this morning. She is live in Henry County out on Highway 202 and 389. Jesse, you've told us what was the most terrifying thing out of the final four? Well, you guys are absolutely right. This area that we're on right now is absolutely terrifying to the point where when we were here a few days ago, the locals even had to show us how to drive on these roads because of just how dangerous they are. I know it's easier to see in the light, but I'm going to show you right in front of us. This these bumpy patches that you're seeing that almost feel like a roller coaster. Those continue on all the way down through 389. So it's not just this area that we're seeing right in front of us and it's time and it's the reason why so many people don't feel safe out here. The peace and quiet in Henry County can be deceiving. I guess why our town's so small, we're just not being heard. If this message stays silent, people like Chris Barnes say it's only a matter of time before someone is killed. The roads. 202 and 389, they are horrendous. When my ball joint broke and broke through my rim, that was very scary because it was right there in the worst part. Seeing a camper flipped over, almost rolled into the river, and then hitting our heads on the roof of the vehicle. And those are just a few examples of when people didn't follow the rules created by the locals. Don't go over 35. 35 is the absolute max. Drive on the opposite side of the road. Traveling on 202 and 389 as an outsider is terrifying, but for those living here, it's their only choice. If you live on 389, there's no way. That's been Bobby Quirkett's life for decades. For 45 years. More than six times a day, he's back and forth. It's like riding a roller coaster. You're supposed to go into a dip up over a hump, and then maybe up over another hump. As a local farmer, every trip is another step towards damaged equipment. We haul grain out and we break uh, springs on trucks, dismember tars, belts break on tars from twisting and turning. Somebody will lose a life before they'll fix anything. And it's getting worse. The calls for action getting louder. Every time we ask the state to do the maintenance worker barn to do anything, well, they say they have no money from the state to do it. Well, they say there's not enough of us living here, but this is a commute to Carrollton to the factories to work. Thousands of people crossing this tight knit community on a constant basis, adding to the destruction people from Henry County hope doesn't result in someone's death. They say it's the roughest road there is in the state. Now those visuals are just a small glimpse of just how bad the conditions are. I'm going to show you guys we are driving as slow as we possibly can because these roads are extremely bumpy. Like we said, you have voted highways 202 and 389 as some of the worst in Kentuckyana. So now it's time to narrow it down. After seeing our story, if you still believe that this is the worst road in the area, then it's time to vote. So you can head to our WHAS 11 app or our website and vote right now. We actually have a new front runner this morning. Highway 53 in Shelbyville, which we showcased yesterday, is actually winning. I noticed a huge wave of people on Facebook participating in this vote, so let's get the word out for even more votes this morning. Daniel and Kristen, like we've said, this vote ends on Thursday.